Okay, so here's a quick video on how I do a valve inspection on a Lycoming 180 horsepower engine. So I start off by putting the engine up at top dead center so that the valves have little tension on them, less tension. I take the uh, plastic wear cap out of the end of the rocker shaft and then I have a tool I made that depresses the valves. It makes it a lot easier to move the rocker shaft. Sure helps when you go to put it back together again. I made special tools for uh, the angle valve engines as well. I think mine works a little better than the one that you buy. Anyway, we got clearance now. And a little bit more. There, there's clearance on, on the valves. So now I can just take like a socket or something and push the rocker out or the rocker shaft and I can take the rocker off and I can take the push rod out to get it out of the way okay now I'm gonna leave that socket in there because I'm gonna use that as my fulcrum for the for removing the valve keepers so we'll take this tool off that I made Okay. Okay. Now, what we do is we need air in the cylinder to hold it. So, I'll hook up a compression tester. The spark plug is in the top cylinder right now. And I'm going to rotate the prop a little bit in the direction of rotation because when I put air in it, it's going to swing it. It's going to push the piston down to the bottom. Hmm. There it is. There it is. Okay, so the piston is down at the bottom right now, and it's holding the valve up. Next thing we got to do is we got to take off the uh, this cap on the end of the exhaust valve. Let's use a magnet. Take that off. Then we got a tool here. I broke it, so I had to add a little piece onto it. It wasn't long enough when it was built anyway. A little hard for me to hold on to. So now I'm gonna depress the spring and try and get these keepers out of here. There we are, I got both keepers. Take the tool off. Got the valves on the floor. Valve spring. Okay. Now we're going to take the air off and we're going to feel the valve to make sure that it's not seized or anything. Once the air pressure de is depleted, then it valve e moved easily. I can see there's a little bit of vertical and sideways movement on it, so there's no buildup on this valve. This is not the cause of the problem with this engine running incorrectly. This was uh, the pilot reported that uh, he had no exhaust gas temperature reading on his JPI on startup. So this was definitely, it wasn't, it wasn't a stuck exhaust valve causing the problem. So we're going to have to look into that. It was probably the gauge wasn't working and he just thought it was rough. Or it was rough for another reason anyway. Okay, so we've determined that uh, the exhaust valve is okay. We're going to put the valve keepers back on. Sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to put that on. Put this on. Now, if I struggle with this, I'm going to turn the video off. But So you need to put air back in here. I'll give you the idea on how I do it. Oops. The valve is got pushed down on its own. Okay, so here's how I do it. I take a, a Torx bit and I put it in my magnetic screwdriver and I take a keeper and hold it on its end like that. 
I've seen lots of guys do this. They've used grease, all sorts of different methods. This thing's a little big. I struggle with it all the time. So, anyway, I depress the valve springs and I wiggle this into place. Yeah, it's not going in right now, but. It was in once, the magnet took it back out on me. There we are. It's in there. Now, I know that it's easier for me to get them in from the right hand side, so I'm gonna rotate that one around over here, and get it on that left hand side. I'll try the other one to get it in. Like I say, sometimes it's with one person doing it. You gotta, you gotta kinda wiggle this thing up and down to get it in anyway so sometimes you're better off to do it by yourself there it is it's 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 in that wasn't too bad anyway i'll take this back off i take my tool out of there i'm gonna take the air off the cylinder i'm gonna take a hammer and i'm just gonna beat this on the end just a little bit just like that just to make sure that those keepers are seat and everything looks like it's supposed to. Then I'm going to rotate the cylinder, the, pit, the, the propeller back because it turned. I'm going to rotate that back up there where it was up the top dead center because I'm going to put those, uh, put the rocker shaft back on and you don't want to have any of the push rods pushed up. So we'll put the, uh, Put the push rod back in. We'll uh, just set that in place. It's not gonna, you won't be able to get it in because the, uh, the hydraulic lifters are gonna be holding it up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not forget this thing. I've seen airplanes fly without these. That gives you uh, noisy valves and, uh, <laughs> and less power too. So, Let's put that on. What we'll do is we'll crank this down a little bit and get the uh, valves to go down just a little bit. Yeah, that's got a little clearance. Let's give it a little bit more. Okay, so. In, it's centered. We'll put the little plastic cap on the end and take our tool off. And there you have it. That's how I check the valve stem clearances on a Lycoming engine. I'll do one on the uh, angle valve engines with my fancy little tool this is a fancy tool I made for doing the angle valve ones I put that on with a spacer in there but I've got that these holes are drilled on an angle so that you can push the valve down it right, goes right beside the rocker and you only have to push one down so it makes it you get there's a two there's two rocker shafts on the angle valve engines okay well I hope you find this informative leave me a message if you think so take it easy